All right, fresh off of that interesting booster box battle. Yeah, last week was also Evolving Skies. And of course, the worst box. Go check it out, it is bad. But this will be better. I mean, when you hit your lowest point, I mean, it, I mean, it can always get worse, but I'm, I'm it, it, let's just open it. No, I'm just, no, this is gonna, I'm just gonna get, jump straight into this, and we you know what? We're gonna pull something amazing out of these. It's gonna be Asteroidians versus Lost Origin. We're doing this. You know what? We're doing this. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Everything's amazing. Garbage again. All right. Garbage. For packs. All right, we're gonna go straight as fast as we can, I swear. So it's not a 30 minute video again. Toad. And anything epic. Galarian Moltres V. Thank you. Thank you. I love that. I literally just caught one this morning. That's awesome. Thank you so much. All right, and you know the tradition, we always forget where we end off or start or leave off or whatever. So let's do this. Let's go straight into it. The epicness of it all. Okay, maybe. As fast as humanly possible. We're gonna be Fast, fast, fast. Give everybody codes, all the codes for you. No codes for me, because I don't do online stuff. All right, let's do this. We're already doing good. After Radiance is already winning, even though Astral Radiance wasn't that good, and Lost Origins has been a uh, not enough. All right, it's doing something so far. I really wanted that Moltres, so you know what? Oh, I love beautiful. Eye. Okay. And we get another Shadow Rider. <laughs> Come on, man. What's with the repeats in this set? That's why I was like, oh, man. <laughs> of course, it was a Shadow Rider. I need the Ice Rider. I got so many different Shadow Riders. Hey, Del Fox V and Bayonet. I love Del Fox. I want that full art Del Fox. So badly. I love Del Fox. Too much ear hair, though. That's really gross. But I still like it. It's really... It, it, it grew on me. It was like... It was the starter I didn't want to pick. But come Gen 6, I finally realized, you know what? I could have more than one starter on my team. Hey, Lilligant. Yeah, because I didn't know whether to pick Mudkip or Trico, so I ended up with Trico. And then when Omega and Alpha came out, I'm like, why don't I just do both after... Why? Like, Gen 6 basically told me, hey, you can do more than one. I needed the Drefbion. So between my starters, I picked Squirtle, then I picked Cyndaquil, then I couldn't decide. So then, I ended up going with Trico the first time around. And then for Gen 4, I think I, I went with Torterra, because I just really liked Giant Turtle. Oh, I love that blip bug. And then Gen 5. I hated all the Gen 5 starters. I don't like any of them. 
So none of them got on my team in Gen 5. Uh, that was that was weird. And then Gen 6, I finally realized I don't have to. I don't have to have only one because I couldn't pick between Chestnut and Greninja. So then I just did all three because I saw what Delphox's hidden ability was. And I loved its hidden ability to take them to take my opponent's stuff. Scarlet and Violet is getting really close. Which is good. I wish they would just apparently they're not gonna scale the levels when it comes to the gyms. I don't know why they couldn't just scale the leveling and we could do gyms in whatever order we wanted. Like, come on. Hey, Zorark. But I'm ex I'm really excited for it. Like, you have no idea. It's going to actually be amazing. I think they're actually doing a lot in this that I don't know if they're listening or what, but I can't wait to see the new shinies, what I can hunt, because I at least want to always start my adventure out with one shiny. Because I got, because I hunted Choodle right at the start of, Sword and Shield. I remember that day. That was such a good weekend. It was so nice to see everybody playing, shiny hunting and all of it. And then how bad Diamond and Pearl remakes were. The ROM hacks were better. So much better. Actually new Pokemon, the origin forms that somebody even put in. Megas. A Phalanx and Samurai B. Here I was thinking that I wasn't gonna buy any more Asteroidians, so of course the cards I did buy separately, now it's Awful. Now it's just that bad that I couldn't pull what I wanted, or I'm getting repeat pulls out of constant with Astral Radiance. Look at the Haunter. That's a neat Haunter. Pokemon Go has been a lot of fun. Rag and Rolla starts tomorrow. So, yeah. Yeah. Filming this on Saturday. I really got the urge to make a deck, and there were still cards in Astro Radiance that I was hoping to pull, so of course I wanted to make the video. Oh, Fallout Opal, again. <laughs> Do you see my problems here? All this money, for what? Hey, Bronzong. Uh, spent a long, spent a long day with family. I love my niece. Love her to death. Been having a lot of Pokemon Go and Full Art Irida. Pretty sure that card's worth something. Oh man. Dude, I gotta look that up. 
I don't think I had I had the full art adamant. I pulled like multiple adamant. And it's full art Magnus V. Neat. Oh, and the Pikachu. I didn't see that. Oh, it's so cute with Hikari. I love it. The actual few it takes me a lot to like. It takes something. It has to take something good for me to like a Pikachu, which most costumes from Go I do not like. I just don't like Pikachu unless it's a costume that's really good. Lampened and Polyrath. Two Lampent, actually. And Rangaruby. Neat, I guess. All right. Man, so far none of my cards have been upside down. Not that I'm truly looking. And that's the Hyper Zoroark V. Nice! Jug has all the gold, so he keeps taking all the gold. Nice! I'm hoping for some Curem. See, had I grabbed this box, had I grabbed this box, had I freaking grabbed this box, it was literally right by the door. I'm so upset about that. I thought about it too. I'm like, should I grab this? I had zero confidence going into that box. And for something to be that bad, is it even possible? The answer is yes. And this is... Oh, hi, Gudra. Good to see you again. Hello, Shaman. That box was so cursed. I don't. I still haven't even taken it out of my vehicle. And nope. I needed some Palkia, of course. If you can't tell what deck I'm trying to make. But at the same time, I was like, hmm, should I try to get out a third video for Lost Origins? Yeah, why not? I don't need to buy as much for Silver Tempest, since nothing's coming after Silver Tempest. So with that, a new era will begin, which I can't wait. Oh. Hi, Luxury.
bag. Toolbox. I mean, it would be nice to get an alt art from Lost Origin, but I'm not going to go that hard. So unless one comes out of here, I don't think I'm going to try again. Side. At least you guys get codes. I don't ever use them. I need to get back into making those shorts and giving you guys code cards. I just haven't found the time or the energy, really, with everything going on. Sneezler. Yes, I got more. I got another Kira. And we get Beedrill. Pre release tournament all over again. You guys are having a good day. I had a great day. Hi, Hoot Hoot. Oh, I put Hoot Hoot on the wrong side. Because that was Asteroids. Ah, Parasect. Neat! You never see Parasite get much love until Legends Arceus, really. You never really think about it. You don't see a lot. Some of them you just forget about. Why? Why me? I hate you. I hate you! But that was Astral Radiance! I, I, it followed, I don't even, no, no, it's, it's, it, that, no, just no. Come on. Can I get something super crazy? Please? Can I get something crazy? Hi, Cleaver. Again. <laughs> oh, man. We're almost there. Ugh. Why?
where if I see another upside down card in a pack before I die, it'll be too soon. I mean, on a live YouTube. You again. Oh, man. We're getting there. Oh man, my back. Ooh, better arch support, I swear. So I'm just sitting on this stool. Came with, I mean, it came with the table. Do I need to use a gaming chair to open Pokemon cards? It's that extreme now. At least we actually stayed pretty even. At least we haven't messed up and opened like two packs in a row so far. I mean, I could, could surprise you. Dude, Reggie Drago and Eliki in the same pack. Alright, come on. Something crazy. Hey, there's a Steelix and Zoroark again. I have all the Radiant. I believe I have all the Radiant cards now, because there's only those three. Hmm. Come on. We're nearly there. Hoping for one more something crazy at least out of these last six packs. Don't care which one it is. Yeah. Come on. Hmm. All right, we're almost there. Ugh. All right, last pack each. Okay, why do you hate me? You were literally one of my favorites. All right, last door, last door. And Jack. All right. Let's do a count. Definitely say the best two cards were at the beginning. Then after that, it just kind of became repeat heaven. Except for the Irida. Yeah, the Irida. Yeah, so those are the, definitely the best three out of this. I think that, I can't remember how much that Irida is worth, but I'm really glad I got that Moltres. And then, recount on this as well. I mean, I got the Delphox, but I'd rather have the Del Delphox Full Art. I'm known in Pidgeot, too. Hisuian Zoroark V-Star. Hyper Rare. I got another Kyurem, which I am definitely happy about. Alright, so I got enough I got enough V-Star Zoroarks from this one box. Alright, I need to look up that Irida, and I really like that Moltres. So, I'm going to sleeve this Moltres. And then I...
Don't know. I will see you around the time of Silver Tempest. If some, if another video miraculously does come out before Silver Tempest, I'll be as surprised as you are. So. Thank you. Just generally thank you. Alright. I will keep doing my best. I hope you all keep doing your best too. Good evening and good night.